We end tonight with a nod to a beloved and resilient crowd, seniors. These oldest Americans have endured the Great Depression, World War II, economic gyrations, and terrorism. The pandemic, just another hardship, except this one experienced largely alone, until technology came to the rescue. Here's CBS's Chip Reed. Hi, Mom. Oh, goodness. Oh. How are you? I'm good. Oh. <laughs> So good to see you. I recently surprised my 89-year-old mother with her first call on Zoom. It was the first time we had seen each other since March, when Forwood Manor Nursing Home in Delaware stopped allowing visitors. Across the nation, senior care facilities are on lockdown, leaving those inside more isolated than ever, and caretakers looking for ways to keep loneliness at bay. At the Hebrew home in Riverdale, New York, 97-year-old Yvette Frank says FaceTiming with family is the high point of her day. It's a way for them to see how I'm doing. As I am concerned about their well-being, they are concerned about mine. Beth Teitelman is her niece. So she's kind of like the warrior in chief. And so for her to see that we're really okay, we're not just saying it on the phone, but we're really okay, I think is very reassuring. The moment I saw that she had a necklace on, a favorite necklace, I knew she was okay. If you did not have FaceTime, what would life be like for you? Well, it would be a lot more boring. The Hebrew home's Melissa Estevez coordinates the calls. Um, we received over a thousand requests since we began in early March. Last week, the Hebrew home launched daily drive-in visits. Families stay in their cars and can see their loved ones through plexiglass windows. Estevez says connecting with families has significantly improved the mood here. It's really brought a lot of joy into the home during this time. At a time when joy is hard to come by. I miss you. I miss you. Please tell me I'll see you soon. You will. We can only hope because it's been way too long. Chip Reed, CBS News, Washington.